I'm going to show you how to make a super easy little drawstring pouch. I use them for like Halloween costumes. I've made one really fast for like a renaissance fair. Anyway, um, I have leftovers from a fat quarter that I bought at Walmart, the Harry Potter fabric. I have leftovers of that. Um, the top's not even, so I'm just going to make it mm, about 15 and then just cut off there. Um, what I'm using is scissors, sewing machine, uh, an old shoestring that is folded in half and equals the top length of this. This part will be the bag and it is so stupidly easy if you can, you know, sew about three straight lines. Oh, I'm going to cut off this part. Um, I'll do that first. Uh, you can use pins for this part, it definitely helps. Take my old shoestring or any tieable string and I'll lay it along the top. And I'm just going to make sure that the sides pop out. And then I'm just going to roll that over it. Um, I'll show you. Just a second, let me set this up real fast. Okay, so take this, pinch it here, push it down over. So that way the edge is gonna be sealed. Pin is useful. I don't always do that, but just keep the cord in there and then just roll along. Actually, it's probably gonna be super easy to do that with the pin, so. Unless you're really good at sewing, unlike me. And then I'm just going to go all along here. Just eyeballing the measurements. It looks like... Oh, oh, I guess I have a tape. Like, eh. There's that. Almost an inch. But, yeah. Then I just make sure not to pin the um, shoestring in there. So I'll just, I mean, and you could like hem that and then roll it over. It makes life so much easier. So I'm going to pin it all up now. Gonna measure. That's definitely not the same size as what I've got over here. Actually, it is. Never mind. Okay, that part's done. Since I'm not using this for anything super sturdy, I'm leaving this part unsewn so it will get fraying. If you are wanting to make it a little more professional looking, you would hem in, or just like roll over and hem this. Obviously not that big, but then that would roll under here. So now that that is pinned, I'm gonna go through and sew right along the edge, being sure not to get the shoestring in the foot or getting it sewn up into this hem. Okay, there's enough on each side that it shouldn't slide out. Put the pins to the side. There's Mert, my sewing machine. And it was 25 bucks because it had stickers on it. People didn't want it. And it's super heavy and fantastic. But, yep, yeah, let's start the project of sewing. Okay, there's that part. As you can tell, the string 
is still moving along the fabric. Cut. For this next part, um, I usually don't pin it, but I will show you with pins. I start sewing right about here where our old stitches are. And I'll just pin here for show only. Make sure that everything is lined up. Then sew all the way down here to the corner. And then sew all the way this way. And you're practically done. Keep the pin in the fabric. Just lift the foot up. Oh! Drop the camera. Oh, now I can go down a little bit more. Womp. Okay. And then go back to the start. There's that. Oh. I'll throw those away in a little bit. Okay. Bag's done. See if I can do this all in. Yeah. Give me a second. Let me clean up just a smidge. Shut that off. Okay. Here's the bag. I guess it's not terribly done. You gotta. You gotta loop these two around in on themselves pull it tight unless you know it's made of something that won't pull tight eh, there we go the iron shoe strings won't tie ha ha so like I said earlier this part will fray that's up to you whether you wanted it to not but there's this and now, if I can pluck the other corner out, I have a Harry Potter drawstring bag. Pretty good. Oh, and then here. There we go. Uh, if you make this cord a lot longer to fit your body, you can wear it as a cross, cross the body bag. But that is very long. But then to open it, like that. Yeah, so just something super, super, super simple for beginner sewers since, you know, I can do it. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching.